consider the solid in three space, E, defined by y is between zero and one, x is between zero and y, z is between zero and x plus y. The density function on E is given by delta xyz equal to yz, find the mass of E. Our formula for mass, we take our density function, I'm gonna integrate over the volume, and then our limits are gonna be determined by our solid. So, the trick is gonna be, how do you set up, one, your coordinate system, two, your order of integration. If I look at my functions, things are not crazy here. This is gonna be fine for rectangular coordinates. So we're thinking dx, dy, dz. What about the order? Okay, well, we have to take a look at our limits. The trick here is gonna be, whenever I do an integration, that's gonna eliminate the variable I'm integrating against from our equations. So the idea is, I don't wanna integrate something and then have that variable show up later on another variable's limits. So, we'll wanna integrate z first. Okay, if you notice, z does not appear in either of our first two ranges. So if I integrate with respect to z and eliminate, then not gonna show up in either of these. So not a problem. So we start with dz. So that'll go from zero to x plus y. That eliminates z. So what should we do next? We take a look at our limits. We have a y in the limits for x. So we we'll integrate with respect to x next. That way, if I had eliminated with respect to y beforehand, we're gonna have to deal with that y in the limit of x and that would be bad. So x is gonna go from zero to y and then that's our next after the dz. Finally, we're just left with dy and that goes from zero to one. So you'll notice as I integrate, as we eliminate variables, there's no problem with the limits. So now it's just calculating out an iterated integral. So first step, we're gonna integrate with respect to z. We treat the y as a constant. Z goes to one half z squared, and then we evaluate at x plus y and zero. The zero goes to zero, so we're just left with one half x plus y squared. Then we'll multiply that by y. So that gives us Okay, well, your x plus y squared is gonna give you x squared, 2xy plus y squared. You multiply that by a y, then multiply that by a half. That gives you the polynomial, a half yx squared plus xy squared plus a half y cubed. Now, we're gonna take that, integrate with respect to x. Here, y is gonna be treated as a constant, so what happens? Our x squared goes to a third x cubed, our x goes to a half x squared, and then for the one half y cubed, we're just gonna tack on an x. We put in y zero, take the difference, that leaves me with things that are all in terms of y the fourth power. So, what does this collapse to? Collapses to seven sixth y the fourth. Now, all we have left is a y, so single variable calc, Add one, flip it over, you have one fifth y the fifth. Put in one, put in zero, take the difference. That gives you a one fifth times your original seven six gives you seven over 30. 